Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Killian Zernetz before the uh, 2013 Ultra Race of Champions. How are you, Killian? Fine, and you? I'm doing very well. It's a snowy day here in Colorado. Uh, yeah. Have you thinking about ski season? <laughs> yeah, maybe tomorrow we can take the skis. So. Yeah, <laughs> from the passes down. Yeah. Um, you've had a very long running season. I mean, you start with Transvolcania and uh, have had many races and adventures since then. Uh, how are you feeling energy-wise? Mm, feel good. I, it's a long time ago that I don't race, or it was uh, Red Bull elements in, in NSC, and then Airbus that they are more vertical, yeah. mm, just uphill races. Uh, but uh, still, like three races left, so uh, I think I, I can keep for for all, all these last three races. I gotcha. Um, how do you think your race season has gone so far? Uh, good. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about it because uh, I was doing some good results and in short and long distance, mm -hmm. so I'm happy for that. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that I do a really good vertical kilometers this year. And, and then uh, more than races, uh, like uh, really, I was really focusing on Matterhorn and in Mont Blanc. That, it was going well, so I'm, I'm happy for that. So you've had a great mix of short distance races, long distance races, and adventure. Um, on the long distance front, uh, and racing ultra marathons, you, you've been pretty unbeatable. Is it the last time you were beat to, to Transvolcania? Or, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, then it, I think uh, it really depends the day, uh, if you have a good luck, or the strategy is good. And yeah, of course, uh, this year it was going well. All the long distance Transvulcania then Transdavet was tough with with Luis, but it was a good race. And, and here for sure it's gonna be hard because it's more like runnable yeah. the run, so it's gonna be better for other runners, I think. Uh, do you think that's a, a positive element? I mean, it's not what you're passionate about, but is it fun to bring people with different skills and race against them? Where it's yeah, yeah, well, of course. The, or the thing that makes sense in this sport is that it's not just a a kind of race that it's always the same, so mm -hmm. it's it's nice to do like really different races. You can you can have a Trofeo Kima in Italy that it's really technical, or some Via Ferratis, and you can have Europe that it's uh, like a flat race, but uh, in the nature. So this is the good thing that to have these two kind of races, and then it's gonna be persons that they are more adapted to to one or to the other, but we race together in in both sides. So mm -hmm. this is the nice thing that. One day is for one and the other day is for the other one. So, and no matter what channel your train you're on, it's going to be a challenge. And this is just one that you don't race as often, the flat. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I really don't remember the last time that I raced or that I ran flat uh, in training now. Uh, it's going to be a challenge, but um, I think uh, it's, a, it's a long race, so it's going to be, of course, uh, to be in a good shape, but it gonna be a lot about the strategy I think too. So there's three different parts. There's sort of the trail and, and dirt road sections early and then a stretch of pavement and more back onto the trails. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you have to have strategy to suit your strength? Or I think the, the, the road part in the middle, it, it blocks a lot. Like I can't start fast because in the case in the road, I, I can't keep the speed so I for me, uh, I I gonna try to to start slow and try to do while in the last uh, uh, miles that it's a bit more mountain, but uh, of course it's gonna be difficult because I think for persons like say Canada or like uh, Cameron they are gonna start really strong mm -hmm. and it's gonna be difficult to decide if uh, it's better to keep with them or to to stay back. So we're gonna see during the race and then. Things like Kota and Ricky that they are really good also in, in technical, uh, they can really play well too. Yeah, um, obviously you're really strong ascending and descending in the mountains. Are you really that, you have to be pretty fast on the flat, yeah? Even if it's not what you enjoy? Mm, I, I never time that then like races like Sergenal that they are pretty flat in the mm -hmm. last 20k. I, I can keep well, not I, I am really bad there, but I can keep with the runners and just, I think it's, it's a problem also of, uh, if you don't train in, in flat, you don't know the pace in the flat, so it's mm -hmm. difficult to keep motivated. Like, uh, also mentally, like if you run in a, in a trail like this, you can go fast, but more is large, you, you are more bored, and it's like your feet start to feel heavy, and 
and it's difficult if you run with someone it's just to try to keep with him so it's, it's easier yeah so you've run some uh some ba some mountain races in europe and you've done uh, matterhorn and elbrus or you've been at elbrus uh why are you here in uh, at u rock in colorado ah it's the final of skyride so this is a, a good motivation um then it's a it's a nice area i i know a bit uh Leadville, uh, Bale, uh, they are beautiful mountains and I think it's going to be a good opportunity for, for the sky running series to do a, uh, a finish here and, and then it's going to be a good competition. Uh, they are all the best Americans. Uh, mm, I think uh, we're going to miss uh, Luis Alberto and Toffol and Miguel Eres that they, they have been doing an awesome race uh, last week in Cabez del Bell, both three, but I think the competition is going to be really, really good. Yeah. Um, there have been some great performances you've had this, this summer without competition, the Matterhorn. Uh, how special was it for you to, uh, to break Bruno Bruno's record? Yeah, Matterhorn was really special because it was my, I think it's the, the main goal for my, my running life or it is yeah. the, the thing that I'm more proud about because I was looking for until I was 13. Yeah. Uh, I, I have a picture of Matterhorn in my, in my room when I was children and, and if I am doing you know, trail running now it's because I, I saw Bruno Bruno records and I was inspired by it. So uh, yeah, I was really happy to, to spend time with him there and to know the mountain and then it was good conditions the day of the record and, and I was feeling, feeling good so it was, it was really cool. Uh, and then you went to Albrecht. Um, and the weather, what did not cooperate? Yeah, we was uh, we was last week in Elbrus, and uh, it's gonna be good for the climatization here for the <laughs> altitude. But uh, yeah, we have really bad conditions in the weather. Or when we came there, uh, it was snowing a lot. It was uh, difficult to to make the tracks. And then uh, the the two attempts that we do it were really windy. Uh, I stopped at 300 meters from the summit, okay. and it was. Mm, I don't know, around 100 kilometers per hour wind and, and really, really cold. I was thinking it's possible to do the uphill, but then in the downhill maybe I, I lost my finger. So it's better to, to, to just stop and to go there next year. Yeah, that's something you might face in some of your other summits of my life attempts, right? Were yeah, you? yeah. And it's, it's mountains, uh, in a rise you rise, but in the mountains is, is the mountain that uh, she decides if it's possible or not. Yeah. Um, with something like the Matterhorn off your list, you, you've set the record. You had your list of races that you wanted to run and you've crossed many of them out. Do you have any iconic dreams that you... They are a lot. I think uh, there are some races that I want to do, like Hard Rock, I'm going to try in the lottery another time. Um, and other summits, I want to go to Aconcagua and to McKinley next year. And then just have fun in the races. It's, it's not because I want to win a race that I need to go there, but it's just because I know the organization and they are nice persons and I, I have fun with other runners and it's, it's nice to just be there and just to try to push and, and to have fun during the week and during the race. Excellent. Well, have much fun uh, and enjoy this weekend. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.